Okay, folks, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, and if others join us, they can just jump right in. Um, first of all, I want to welcome everybody uh, to this webinar. Thank you for registering and, and uh, attending. Uh, we are going to talk about summer school and uh, truly how uh, virtual school can can really make a difference uh, in uh, in having a summer school program. Um, I know it's February, but uh, I, uh, my name, first of all, my name is Scott Lobdell. Um, I am the Director of uh, Implementation and Consulting for Ed Options Academy, um, uh, part of the uh, Edmentum team. And um, as I said, we're talking about summer school, and uh, I actually used to run summer school uh, in uh, Palm Beach County, Florida, back in the uh, early 2000s. And uh, of course, this was right about the time we started planning uh, for summer school. So um, we know that we still have another semester to go, but uh, early planning always makes a, a good difference and, and matters in a successful program. Uh, so let's go ahead. As I said, we're going to jump in. And uh, before we get started, uh, just want to uh, discuss how uh, you can participate uh, in this. Uh, of course, right now you are all muted, uh, but if you want to chat in any questions uh, as part of the window here for Zoom, uh, you're able to enter any questions. And at the end of the presentation, uh, I will uh, go ahead and uh, answer any of those questions that uh, you all may have. And if you want to just do a check on that real quick. Um, if you want to go ahead and uh, chat in, um, just say hi so I know that you all can hear me and uh, that uh, your chat function is working. So I'll give you about 30 seconds to go ahead and do that. Okay, we're starting to get some responses. And good morning. Fantastic, good. So let's go ahead and, as I said, continue with the presentation. Uh, first of all, um, just want to tell you uh, a little bit about Edmentum and, and who we are. Uh, Edmentum definitely is a uh, fantastic company that is definitely committed to uh, really making um, a difference for educators and their students, um, really uh, through the concept, obviously, of individualized learning. Um, so really what we do is dealing with digital curriculum. Uh, so over 400 different uh, courses uh, are available, uh, whether it's uh, with teacher or without teacher. Uh, we are also an assessment company. Uh, so truly bringing in great assessments um, that have uh, strong validity and reliability, um, but things that you can actually do in the classroom that uh, can prepare students for uh, any, uh, any uh, standardized testing that uh, needs uh, to occur. And of course, uh, consulting and other services, uh, we, we have a, a tremendous amount of expertise in developing programs, helping you uh, with any, any of the virtual um, pieces that you would uh, actually be able to purchase through us and uh, give you that kind of expert help. So let's jump into what is today's agenda. Uh, first of all, we're going to take a look at summer school programming and credit recovery. Um, we're going to look at utilizing summer programming uh, for acceleration as well. Uh, what are the benefits of virtual school partnerships? And we'll take a little look at Ed Options Academy and how it can help you do that, uh, as well as taking a look at uh, some questions that you all may have. First of all, there are so many students uh, out there in the United States today um, that truly need uh, a, a way to help them get back on on path uh, towards graduation. Um, we all know that, um, especially in ninth grade, uh, where you have a, a too many students uh, today. I've I've seen up to fifty percent of students failing algebra one in ninth grade in certain areas of our country. Um, the same issue with uh, uh, language arts, so English one, um, and even a large percentage 
of students who are failing both Algebra 1 and English 1. And um, those are tremendous in indicators towards uh, dropping out of school before the end of 10th grade. Um, so it, it becomes really, really obviously important uh, to uh, these students, especially early on. And of course, the students who are later on in, in junior and senior year as well, who may end up um, falling off track a little bit um, just because of situations going on in their lives, uh, but need to have an ability to recover those credits. So uh, first of all, we talk about what I call the countdown syndrome. Um, you know, uh, basically students who are falling behind in credits uh, and that there just is not enough time for them to catch up with their cohort. Um, and, and as it says here, even if the student is motivated because it was just waited too long uh, to uh, try to get back on track. Um, other issues along the, the countdown towards graduation, uh, low GPA, uh, poor assessment scores, uh, difficulty with the, you know, graduation projects. And of course, you know, from state to state, we have so many different uh, standards that are out there. Um, but any one of those issues and standards that, that are out there can actually become a stumbling block uh, for students uh, to, again, stay on track uh, towards graduation in, at the end of their fourth year of, of high school. Uh, another issue, obviously, is that there is um, no alternative uh, to the traditional uh, brick and mortar classroom in some districts uh, where, uh, of course, we're going to talk about with virtual education, um, being able to be offered at any time, not even just the summer school, uh, to be able to allow students to recover that credit uh, quickly. Um, and then of course, students who start falling behind and they don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, they are uh, considering dropping out or actually do drop out uh, because there are in to their you know, lives at, at this moment, uh, just other opportunities out there. So, you know, really the biggest thing we're talking about, obviously, is that path to graduation. And when you start out, in, you know, from the start gates in ninth grade and you're already falling behind, uh, things become difficult. And, you know, truly, um, you know, students will become unengaged. They'll, they'll, they'll actually become maybe even a disruption uh, in classrooms uh, because they don't see uh, hope at the end of the tunnel. So let's look a little bit of the value of um, credit recovery uh, is, and of course, we're specifically talking about summer, um, but uh, here are a couple of, of bullet points of some studies that were done. Uh, first of all, in, as of 2013, so just a few years ago, um, we were looking at high school dropouts had a median income of only $23,900. Uh, versus $30,000 for high school graduates. So, you know, even though we live in a day and age where we're telling students that they, they should go on and move on to college, and of course, that's a great idea for a vast majority of students, uh, because then that <laughs> annual income jumps. Uh, it's still a huge difference, uh, even dropout versus high school graduate and what their potential um, income could be throughout their lives. Uh, so, um, it, it makes a huge difference right from the beginning. Uh, then, in, as of 2008, we're looking at uh, 16 to 24 year olds who dropped out of high school. Uh, their incarceration rate was 6.3% uh, versus only 1% uh, for those with high school diplomas. So, not only is it a difference in income, but it's a, also a huge difference in the number of, of students uh, who are dropping out who actually end up in jail. Uh, so, you know, the, these are some critical things. These are some life uh, differentiators that we're talking about to truly offer students a program of hope because it can make a huge difference in not only their uh, life as far as their income is concerned, but of, of eventually roads and, and, and choices that they make uh, to hopefully keep them out of, of jail. Uh, and then finally, 60% uh, of students. Uh, who eventually drop out um, are students who failed at least 25% of their credits in ninth grade. And those, and I, and I was already uh, talking about that. We're talking about English one and algebra one. 
uh, are the leading indicators of why students are going to drop out. And that's that, you know, if they're, if they're failing 25% of, the, of their credits in ninth grade. So imagine that, that is, that is a huge, that over 60% of them eventually drop out. So uh, it is, th these, are, these are truly some great reasons why we need to have a credit recovery program um, that meets the needs of the students and give them the hope that they need. So uh, why partnership with a virtual program? Uh, well, because actually what studies have shown is that it's a virtual, the virtual program does these things uh, that I'm about to talk about that make a difference uh, in uh, helping students uh, catch up and, uh, and get the credits that they need. So uh, first of all, it's the personalization of curriculum. Um, as it says here, it can, it studies show, significantly reduce or eliminate the need for retention um, because, you know, we can offer uh, summer school program. We can offer an after school credit recovery program that immediately addresses the needs for the student to recover the credit now instead of waiting down, you know, for too long and waiting into their 10th, 11th, or even 12th grade year before they're, uh, you know, ho hopefully able to recover some credit from, from the past. Um, so being able to hit summer school right now, having, you know, student take a virtual curriculum, which because they can pretest and they can master out of material that they've already or that they've already learned and only really concentrate on material that they did not learn. Um, and number one, it reduces the amount of time for the student, but it is personalized. It really is a one on one scenario where you have teacher working with the student who is working on a particular path that has been designed for them. Um, the other thing that studies show is that the use of technology or aka online curriculum, virtual curriculum, allows for the student to become, you know, again, that personalized uh, education that they need, um, allowing them to work at their own pace and work with a teacher one-on-one -on -one giving them instruction. So again, here are these two items that, that again, studies show uh, make a huge difference in helping these students. Um, and the last bullet, uh, as we see here, is the majority of research states that the blended instruction of online uh, with teacher support uh, actually is what makes the biggest difference. So when we talk about a blended approach, we're talking about um, student taking the virtual course, sitting in a lab at the school provided to them, um, or even independent from home, but that someone from the school um, is still a part of that in keeping the students accountable along with their online teacher. So it's really having the teacher who's the uh, virtual teacher, who is the uh, teacher of, of uh, record. Uh, then you also have the person who continues to monitor and keep students accountable, whether they're in a lab during the summer or they're at home, uh, allows and, and, you know, to give the student the environment where they can learn uh, but also be held accountable to what they're doing. That's what, you know, in fact, we continue as, as in my position of, of uh, implementation of programs and counseling for or consulting for virtual programs. I have seen throughout my now 18 year career uh, in virtual education. So uh, those studies to me make a lot of sense because I've seen it in the practical sense. So again, and I've already been alluding to it, but what do the virtual schools do is they do provide that personalization uh, for students' needs, and uh, it provides the flexible alternative learning environment. You may have a student who has to work over the summer. Well, they can do their work when they're not, their school work when they're not having to work. You know, it could be done in the evening. Uh, they, we've had students who work till 2 a.m. because that's the time that they like to work till. Um, it, it really provides them with that flexibility and with the accountability from, from your end uh, at the school site, as well as the accountability from a teacher who is the, in the virtual realm, all right, will keep that student on track. Uh, along the way. So, but that flexibility is, is very important. Um, 
providing experienced online teachers, you know, to support them in this individualization of, of their curriculum and their schedule and all that is, is absolutely huge uh, because uh, I believe and what I've seen are master teachers in the classroom can make that transition over to teaching online. Um, and because what they find is really a lot of the tools that they've used being master uh, master teachers in the classroom can still be used virtually. But knowing the you know curriculum, knowing the software, knowing how to communicate properly uh, is going to be key to that success. And that's, you know, obviously very important for the student because, uh, you know, the student in self will really need to feel it's 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 called social presence. Uh, and as again, studies have shown that social presence, as far as virtual education is concerned, is very important because the student does not want to be sitting in front of a computer uh, thinking that this is all they're working with. They were just working online. There's no one there on the other side. There's no one who cares about them. The students want that. They want that interaction. So student uh, teachers who are trained to work with students online, uh, providing that um, communication and support is absolutely key to the student's success. Um, and then of course, um, students can accelerate uh, through uh, credit recovery, meaning that if they had a lot of courses that they had fallen behind, that is something that uh, really they can, if they, if they see the benefit of it, um, they truly can take advantage of it. I've seen students who were as much as three credits away from graduating um, in their senior year needing to go to summer school to do it actually able to take all the courses uh, during the summer, get it done, and graduate with their diploma at the end of the summer. So uh, definitely uh, being able to accumulate a, a lot if there's a desire to do so um, can be done. And uh, again, because of those items we talked about with income and uh, the possibility of imprisonment, uh, you know, uh, you know, making such a huge difference in people's lives, um, having that diploma, having that ability to move on, maybe even, you know, igniting something in the student uh, to want to go on to a community college and, and further their education um, so that they can even make a much better uh, moves in their lives uh, can make a huge difference in, in these students. Let's look a little bit beyond just credit recovery because you have other students out there uh, who um, may need uh, other opportunities. So uh, number one, really, you know, it, it really becomes an opportunity for uh, students who want to move ahead or maybe even have issues with their their schedule. Um, i would give you an example of, of my own daughter who is a is a junior in high school right now. And um, she wanted to open up her schedule to do much more with um, musical theater because that is really what she wants to do with her life. And, um, but she felt that maybe taking uh, some virtual courses during the summer uh, would be able to really open up that schedule and be able to take more uh, theater courses. And it's exactly what she did. She was able to do, uh, take German, uh, in um, uh, one summer and German in next summer, uh, German two, to make, get, uh, get her language uh, requirements out of the way so that she can qualify for a four-year university. Um, but there's other, other students who uh, want to be able to, um, you know, take advantage uh, of that. So from athletics to uh, performing arts to uh, whatever, you know, it may occur, maybe a student who is a, is a superior athlete and going for the Olympics. Uh, we've had that situation before. Uh, so allowing them to um, take courses for original credit uh, and advance them further um, really is something that is needed today because there's a lot of students who are who are actually more and more in those those kind of situations. The second bullet I think is really important. It, we call it the bridge to high school for middle school students um, because there are uh, students who are just not ready for algebra one and English one uh, coming out of middle school. And, and you can see that from their test scores or from, uh, you know, even the courses themselves that they've taken in middle school that they um, really are not ready for it. So uh, the ability to uh, take some kind of assessment, uh, you know, at, at Options Academy, we offer something called Exact Path. 
Um, there are other products out there like this, uh, but um, the, the ability for the student to take an assessment and um, then see what their weaknesses are. Um, and so I'll just give you an example. If you set the math test to be, I want the student to show us everything that they know up to Algebra 1. And in that assessment, it shows where the students' strengths and weaknesses are in mathematics. And when the assessment is done, the program automatically prescribes a course for them to address those weaknesses. And if that's something that you can help bridge a student in summer between eighth and ninth grade, uh, that could really alleviate a lot of issues uh, in Algebra 1 and language arts that um, the student can, can come out of that um, earning a credit instead of not earning that credit. So it's, it's even a proactive uh, situation. Uh, and then, of course, uh, third bullet, the scaffold skills for at-risk students uh, before they fall behind in courses. It's kind of the same thing as, as the bridge, but, you know, you know, a lot of those products really address math, language, arts, but there may be uh, things that you can address in science uh, or social studies. Uh, but uh, really, uh, and it doesn't necessarily need to just be eighth grade. It can be uh, students who are already in high school, uh, but you need to help them build and and, and, and really shore up their skills before they head up uh, to the next grade. So again, beyond credit recovery, here are some great opportunities and a reason why uh, you really should have a, a summer school program. So let's just talk about Ed Options just real quick. Uh, Ed Options Academy uh, is a fully accredited virtual school. It provides over 400 different uh, semesters of courses uh, from core courses to electives, global languages, career technical education courses, even AP. Even though you don't want to do AP over the summer, that's a different story unless you want your students to have a jump on the year. That might not be a bad idea. Um, but um, the Academy offers up gr all these courses with a certified teacher who is from your state and is an experienced online teacher. So the, these are people who have been trained. They know how to operate and they, and I've seen them in action. They are absolutely fantastic. Uh, they communicate very well. We use a tool called Zoom to do live one-on-one -on -one learning we uh, of course use you know you know uh, other other forms of communication like emails and texts and such but uh, our teachers definitely are involved highly with the students um, as as the student works through the course and of course ed options academy is a flexible program and it really can meet the needs uh, we have programs and especially you know specifically talk about the summer where uh, we work directly with the school or we can work directly with parents and whatever it is you know so we can help you really build and design a program and what's really nice about this is that um, the cost effectiveness of it and we have what is called the $80 per student per month um, but that's also per enrollment so if a student enrolled in English one semester one um, that would be $80 and they have a full month to complete that course and um, that's it and there's as it says here there's no minimum enrollments required uh, students uh, can earn the credits quickly they don't need to take the whole entire month to do it if they finish in, in two weeks two weeks fine, they, they've earned that half credit, then they can move on to another half credit for another $80. Um, the other thing is too, is obviously, you know, you get to retain any funding uh, for this. We build the school district or the school. Um, we're not taking any dollars directly from, from the state. Uh, and of course, there's also the opportunity, there are some states and districts that are allowed to charge for summer school. Uh, so in essence, you can actually even generate some income. So if it's $80 and you want to charge uh, parents $100, uh, there's $20 there, you know, the difference that uh, that can be made. So again, very cost effective uh, program through Ed Options Academy for the summer. And just to even say that can be even done during the school year. We do things called mini masters as well, uh, which is a different webinar, which I've, I've done. Uh, but still, that's uh, just want you to know that that's offered uh, beyond just the summer. Um, also, programming, uh, uh, consulting, design, support. That's my job. Uh, just to really help you build the program that you want to build. It's not our program. What I've just informed you about are the tools and the reason why you should have a summer school. Uh, but 
you want to run it your way, your time frames. Uh, so that is how we, we can come together and we can use the expertise that we have on our side to help you really develop a great program. So it is time for uh, Q&A. So let me go check the chat room and see what we have out there. And if you have anything out there that you want to ask, uh, please uh, go ahead and do so now. All right. Okay, we have a question here uh, right now talking about um, are the CTE courses. Yes, CTE courses, uh, they're available over the summer. I think that they are actually fantastic courses to even get a student going um, in a direction that they want to go to. Um, even though our course is designed for high school, uh, we have found that uh, many middle schoolers do very well, seventh or eighth graders. Uh, do very well in those CTE courses. And uh, again, they are available over the summer. We will have teachers available uh, to, to teach those courses as, as well as all of our other courses, to tell you the truth. Uh, so from language arts to our cores, obviously, uh, but any other electives even uh, if, if need be. Any other questions? Oh, okay. Uh, this is a good question about, you know, when does summer school start? Uh, summer school, again, as I was talking about your program, is your program. So it'll start anytime you want. Um, I mentioned mini semesters uh, earlier. Um, there are some schools who want to take the whole entire month of May. They know student has failed in the first semester and uh, they need to recover that course, you know, even maybe even before the summer, uh, whatever the circumstance may be you can actually start the, the student um, even as they're finishing out the school year in, you know, as I said, start them in May, start them in April um, to, to get that, that going. But your official summer school program is your program and you get to decide uh, when uh, it starts and, and also when it ends. Um, and another question, thank you very much. Um, again, if you want to, the question is about, um, can the program be shorter than four weeks? Absolutely. Um, even though it would be $80 for the month for the student to be enrolled in that, if your program calls for two weeks for a semester and then two weeks for a second semester, or your program is three weeks and three weeks, absolutely. We work with you. Uh, we can set the parameters of time um, to meet uh, the needs of, of your program. Thank you for those questions. Okay, well, I don't have any more questions coming in. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys another 60 seconds and I'll just wait here. Uh, in the meantime, um, if anyone has a question, please go ahead and type it in. But just wanna thank you again for, for coming uh, and listening to uh, this information. I hope it has made a difference. Uh, if um, you have uh, any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, uh, email me back. Um, you will be receiving a, a uh, recording of this uh, webinar and uh, with our information. And um, if you are interested to talk further about summer school or if you want to know more about Ed Options Academy, uh, please go ahead and do so. All right, there are no other questions. So thank you all very much. And I hope you all have a great day. Take care now.